So I'm going to quickly go through this uh, and give you some very simple guidelines. The first one is we'll, we'll start with the bridge length and work backwards. Okay. Now. First is bridge length. I'll give you a guideline of 25 to 30 centimetres. <clears throat> so let's say this is, that's probably 30 centimetres there. Uh, 29. So what I'll often do is put a little bit of black tape there that's visible to the player. Electrical tape that's easily removable. And then when they're down on the shot, they can ensure visually that they have a, a consistent bridge length. Changing the bridge length is one of the most common mistakes with beginner players, club players, up to say 40 break standard. Because they're not even consistent in their mechanics yet. But someone in the club tells them, oh yeah, around this area, go really close with the bridge hand. And on a longer shot, go longer. And then with power go even longer than that, and then if you're playing a screw shot, change the length again, don't know whether they're coming or going. So confusing. So I tend to say, look, until you're making 40 breaks, keep the bridge distance the same on every single shot you play. It trains repeatability, the hallmark of a good snooker player. The second option <coughs> is the angle of the bridge elbow. Normally, pros have... 10 to 20 degrees, something like that. That's some a straight. Matthew Stevens, for example, he tends to roll his shoulder over like this. In fact, I was speaking with a pro this morning here who we were discussing the same thing. Should he roll the shoulder over or have it more relaxed and wider? So Matthew Stevens is very much like this with a straight bridge arm. Others are more open with the shoulder, so therefore require a slight angle, 10 to 20 degrees, is usually optimum for them in terms of comfort and getting weight on the elbow. Because if they're straight, ramrod straight, as the Joe Davis book said, the elbow will usually be floating above the table. Just zoom in to where the elbow is floating above the table there. With an angle, it's anchored. Straight, it's floating. So again, a very common reason for lack of stability with club players is straight, cueing arm, because someone's told them, point the arm toward the shot, like a laser, that's really going to help, but they end up floating the elbow and they have no stability and move a lot, like they're on a, a boat in a storm. Then the next is the shoulder angle, shoulder rotation, so I'll demonstrate that as I did earlier. So very square shoulders. So with a 29 centimeter bridge hand here, square shoulders, open shoulders, square shoulders, open shoulders. Now why is this so important? Apart from freedom of movement of cueing, <clears throat> if I have square shoulders, Number one, it doesn't look very good. But number two, the distance from my, between both hands is less than open shoulders. The more distance I have from here to here, the less the tip will move for a given cue arm error. So it's a way of ethically cheating. Have a look at this. So if I'm <coughs> 29 centimeters here, and 29 here, one inch error at my cueing arm will give a one inch error at the tip of the cue. But that one inch error back here has a very small tip error. So for most players, something like 60 degrees or something. This angle here. In fact, that could be a way of, new way of playing trick shot. Or 
perhaps not. I'll have to practice that. Maybe uh, Ronnie O'Sullivan can practice that and let us know. Mark Williams probably, actually. Uh, I'll get some practice in for next time on that. Uh, but, um, yeah, where were we? Lost my train of thought there. So, the um, uh, angle is about 60 degrees, something like that. Approximately something like that. 45 to 60 degrees. Square would be counted as 30 degrees or less. 30 degrees to square. Most pros are 45 or 60 degrees away from square, forwards of square. And then the last one, QR angle. <coughs> so, most pros are vertical at address. So for me, 29, 30 inch bridge hand, 20 degree angle on the elbow, 60 degree angle on the, el on the shoulders, vertical cueing arm equals 58 inch cue. That's fine for me. I have played with 59, didn't need it, a little bit too long. Um, better to have a bit more than, than you need, than a bit less, bit less than you need. But uh, I'm happy with 58 and I'm six foot two or 187 centimeters. So I see a lot of club players with 59, <coughs> 60, 61 inch cues just don't need it. And what happens is they tend, if you just keep the camera here for a second, here's something I prepared earlier. players tend to do with a cue that's too long, they tend to stretch into it. So this arm tends to stretch too much and the elbow floats above the table and they tend to reach back here and, and they're something like this and they're just all over the place. 